What? Are you kidding me? Well, good morning, guys. It is an absolute beautiful morning. We've got fog, we've got frost on the ground, and uh, I'm hoping these deer move through. We've got an awesome setup right here. I'm set up right on the edge of this bean field. It's a standing bean field, and right behind me, there's a good deer trail that moves back and forth in this wood lot. And uh, all in all, it seems like a great spot, so hopefully, we have some deer move through, but this morning got set up just a little bit late. Had quite the uh, quite the fiasco with the e-bike coming down the dirt road and the tires were getting uh, clay ran all around them, and the tires locked up in the fenders with clay. So I had to dig all that clay out. You can see my hands got mud and dirt all over them. And uh, once I got that done, <clears throat> there was so much clay packed in the gears I was like oh no this might not be good and uh, I was going real hard on the chain uh, trying to get things turning and I freaking broke the chain on the bike so I pushed it all the way down here to the stand laid it over in the grass by the stand and I guess I'm gonna have to push it all the way back to the truck it's about half to three-quarter mile away <laughs> and it is muddy Hopefully we can have a deer to show for it. Who even knows, it has been, uh, it's been an interesting last uh, seven or eight days. But it's how it goes. You're always, uh, you're always juggling something, right? So uh, we're all set up. Like I said, I'm gonna crack the horns together right here at first light. See if I can get something to come through. I'm actually only about 100 yards off of the spot. I saw that nice eight point the other night. Uh, so hopefully I can maybe either call him in or call a different deer in, but that's the plan. He's going down. He just went down. He just went down.
just did it, guys. I just did it. That is a freaking hammer. Touchdown. November 2nd. I absolutely smoked that deer. He's laying right there. He is laying right there, baby. I've been hunting so hard, guys. I have been hunting so hard. And I just absolutely smoked that buck right here. 20 yards. Done deal. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Uh, I'm almost at a loss for words. I'm at a complete loss for words. Guys, if you get, if y'all have been watching the videos leading up to this one, on the Rutcation series. You know I've been through the ringer. I have been. I, 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 I don't even know how to explain it. I think that's like the fourth or fifth deer that I've even seen in the last eight days, nine days, I don't even know. First mature deer I've seen all year long. I think that's the buck from yesterday. I knew he would be in here. I knew he wasn't going to be far from here. Where I saw that buck was only about a hundred yards over on this other field edge. And uh, oh my gosh, I'm shaking. Got such an adrenaline dump right now. That buck was over on this other field edge. Uh, when I saw him yesterday and uh, Like I say, I knew he'd probably be in here and I Came over here on this on this other far field edge to get my wind right Because the wind switched a little bit last night and not much. It's still a western west wind But now it's a northwest wind Before it was just straight west. So I got on this side of the field edge I was hoping he would be working this ridge line back either behind this setup or out in front out here in the in the bean field and uh, I hit the horns together just I don't even know five minutes ago and here he comes on this ridge line <laughs> look at this <laughs> I am shaking like a leaf he came in here on the back of this ridge line. I looked over, I could see a body. I could see a white face and I'm like, I, that might be that buck. And he came through here, I said a little prayer and he worked his way through. He came down right here at 20 yards and I stopped him. I had the GoPro running, I had the main camera running. I let that arrow rip and I absolutely smoked him. He fell over right here, he's, he's dead, I mean, 50, 60 yards behind the tree, guys. He didn't he didn't run 40 yards from the shot. I got some people to call. Hello? Big buck down, boys. No way. Big buck down. He's way bigger than I thought he was, dude. That eight? Yeah. No way. Big buck down. I freaking knew he'd be in here, dude. Rattled him in to freaking 20 yards behind the tree, stopped him, and just absolutely smoked him. He's, he's, I'm looking at him right now, he's dead 60 yards behind the tree. Oh, no way. That is awesome. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, thank you, bro. Congrats, dude. Oh, I'm shaking like a leaf, bro. Man, that's awesome. Did you guys see anything? Five coyotes, dude. Dude, that's rough. Dude, I'm so pumped for you. That's awesome, dude. Oh, man, thank you. Holy cow, I'm freaking shaking hard. Well deserved, man. What, the fourth or fifth deer that I've even seen in the last eight or nine days of hunting, dude? Oh, that my gosh. Awesome. Finally, it all pays off, bro. Oh, let's go.
Congrats, homie. Send me some photos, dude. Congratulations. Oh, let's go, dude. <laughs> All right, sweet, dude. I'll call All you in right, a little man. bit. All right, bye. All right, bye. This other buck is standing right where mine died. What are you doing, buddy? My buck is laying there dead, and this other buck is just circling it. Can barely see him through the trees, but he's not leaving. I feel like I gotta get down here as quick as I can and go walk over there because I don't want him I don't want him goring. I don't want him to gore my buck. I don't know what his intentions are, but he's just hanging out right there, right where my buck dropped. All right, guys. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with this other deer that's circling my dead buck, but I'm going to get things packed up, get my camera arm packed up, and uh, climb down out of the stand, get out of the tree, and go walk over there, because, like I say, I don't, I don't want him... I don't want him goring my buck, or I don't know what the heck he's doing, but he's just hanging out right there next to my buck. So um, I'm going to get things packed up, head down the tree, head over there and go check him out, put my tag on him. I'm freaking pumped, guys. It, like I say, if you've been watching up to this point, you know how hard I have been working for that right there. This is what ruckation is all about, guys. I've hunted through extreme winds. I've hunted through downpouring rain. <clears throat> but that's hunting, guys. These are not premium properties. These are not, you know, guided hunts. These are not... This is what hunting is to me. This is what's so special about hunting is you can get skunked for eight, nine days in a row, and all it takes is one. All it takes is one, guys. One opportunity, capitalize on it, and it's, it's game over. It's game over. <laughs> Freaking pumped. All right, let's hop out of this tree. I'm gonna try to find the arrow. Oh, there it is right there. Oh. Oh man, went right through him. That is what you want to see, you guys. Absolutely painted. Look at that, there's blood on the entrance. Oh, I couldn't ask for a better deer than that. God is so good to me. He's down right here, guys. God is so good to me. 
Look at that shot. Smoked him. That's a done deal right there. Oh my gosh, absolute superstar. It does not get better than that. Look at that deer. I am at a complete loss for words. Big neck on him. Big old head. Look at that thing. What a deer. God is so good to me, guys. I can't, I can't say it enough. I can't express it enough. God is so good to me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right, guys. Do a little ending interview here. Here is my Missouri November 2nd Ruckcation Whitetail. Check that dude out. How awesome is that? <laughs> this is all I could have asked for coming to Missouri. I actually was planning on hunting Nebraska and then going straight from Nebraska to Oklahoma, but the weather was so bad in Nebraska. Um, you know, hot temperatures, rain, blowing down hard, wind spitting sideways. And uh, I had to make the decision. I had to, I had to figure out what I'm doing. Do I need to chase this cold front or stay in Nebraska and keep just hunting hard and, and just hoping something comes through. And you know, I was going on five, six days with only having seen three deer. And uh, those three deer were, you know, a young doe and uh, two four corn bucks. So I made the decision to come down here to Missouri. My buddies, uh, Steve and Jesse and Cole McBee, um, they're farmers out here in Missouri and they've got a bunch of farm ground that uh, they were so gracious enough to just turn me loose on to see if, uh, see if I could get something done and came down here in the first couple days hunting uh, you know, the first day I saw a small four corn buck and the second day I saw this dude. He was on the other end of this big draw, this big finger that goes down. And uh, I'm pretty sure it was him. It was either him or the buck that was walking around him um, just right after I killed this deer. But uh, anyway, glassed him up and I played it smart. I didn't go in where he was. I got on the outskirts on the far finger and tried calling to see if I could bring him in. He never came in, so I came back this morning and uh, got set up in a tree right here off the edge of the field. And after the fog cleared, I cracked the horns together and five minutes later, this guy comes in and made an absolute perfect shot, full pass through, shooting the Hoyt RX-5 uh, and like a 505 grain arrow with a fixed blade slick trick standard and it absolutely crushed him he went 60 yards and piled up he's got beams for days great tine length he's forked here on the back end got trash he's gnarly on the bottom could not be more happy with this deer guys like i said i'll say it again god is so good to me and you know making the decision tough decision to literally jump states to chase a cold front. And here we are. Got a giant on the ground. Rotation 3.0. Missouri, we're tagged out, guys. I am blown away. So blessed. Thank you, buddy. Oh yeah, dude, we felt 60 yards behind the stand on film. 
Where's the game? Show you? No. Bro. Okay. I got pictures. I got pictures. Let's see the footage. We got the boys. You ready to do this? Oh yeah. Let's go find them.